Okay, big update now to a story we brought you first here on News 5 last month. It's really fascinating. Questions over whether or not one item on display here at the Cleveland Museum of Art actually matches an artifact listed on Italy's stolen assets database. They do look similar. Hmm. News 5's Clay Lepard explains to a push to get that piece back to Italy now has more momentum than ever before. Standing nearly six feet tall, Benedetto Buglioni's Virgin Mary, crafted in the 16th century, always attracts attention here inside the Cleveland Museum of Art. However, it's the noise building overseas that brings us back to the work of art in room 118. It's a part of our tradition, it's a part of our story. That's Giulia Mugnai, mayor of Filin Valdarno, an area in Italy's Tuscany region near Florence. She's one of many who saw our original News 5 story last month, pointing out the resemblance between the altarpiece displayed at the Cleveland Museum of Art and a work of art deemed stolen from a church in 1905 and listed in Italy's database of illegally stolen cultural assets. We have the impression it is the same piece of art, totally um, and completely similar to the one who was stolen with just little differences, maybe because of the necessity not to make the masterpiece recognizable. Some of those differences begin to disappear when you add the museum's description, which mentions it was once housed inside that same church, plus the fragments of glazed terracotta the Cleveland Museum of Art says is not on display, but is part of the altarpieces set. After our story aired, that prompted international headlines and renewed interest in its return. It has become um, a an important uh, issue for our, for our town, for our community. The mayor explained the memories of the altarpiece's theft from a tiny village inside her town became legend. Buglioni's masterpiece lost and never seen again. And there are many people who can remember uh, their family telling about this these important uh, piece of art. The difficulty in trying to recover this altarpiece from the Cleveland Museum of Art, Munyai says, is that Italy's Ministry of Culture would need to be the ones to make that formal request. We are very interested in having back this, uh, um, this bus relief and we are waiting for an answer from the minister. We asked them too. And in a statement translated to English, a spokesperson with the ministry told News 5, the investigation is still confidential, and therefore it is not possible to issue statements. While they wait, Munyai says the community is already looking at ways they could display, even temporarily, this Virgin Mary so everyone could enjoy it. This is part of our community. There's a big affection to this uh, piece of art, and. It tells something about our story. In Cleveland, Clay Lepard, News 5. Clay is worldwide. <laughs> Reached out recently to the Cleveland Museum of Art. A spokesperson reiterated the museum has not received any indication from Italian authorities that this is a pending issue for them. I think what we need here is a trip to Tuscany. Oh, there you go. that sounds great. <laughs> we'll continue digging. But you know they're going to send Clay, not you, sir. <laughs> He's going to need an anchor with him. Uh, <laughs> what in the world? I think it's fascinating when you put the arch back on. This is a story that fascinated me from the beginning, so I am so intrigued. I can't wait to see how this all plays out, but I think it's so fascinating when you put the arch back over it. Now I see it, but sure you know, I, I'm no, I'm no expert here. I'm no art expert, so we'll see. Yeah, likewise, not at all. And this is actually the first time I've heard about this, so uh, now I think I'm gonna have to go down a rabbit hole about it. Yeah, the whole world knows, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes <laughs> when I'm over in my weather area, <laughs> I'm just have my selective hearing going. <laughs>